Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. This is the thing we've all been waiting for for almost a whole year. Every year around this time, Christmas time, holiday season time, we wait for the Tesla holiday update and it is finally here. Uh, and fitting, seeing that we have sort of a, the beginning of a snowstorm about to happen here in Southern Ontario. So this is it. This is 2025.44.25.1. Dot one must have been like some kind of bug fix or something I'd just to polish it off and refine it. Don't be surprised if you got like a 0.2 or 0.3 uh, if you're watching this afterwards. But this is December 8th and this is one of the early releases of um, the holiday update. So this is going to be, you know what, let's get right to it because this is going to be jam packed and there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. So first and foremost, Grok with navigation command. This is great. I mean, we had Grok. A little while ago and it was like sort of standalone it was sort of self-contained to itself now it seems to be slowly integrating with the car and they're starting with the navigation so this is great now you can add and edit navigation destinations becoming your personal guide you can ask grok to navigate the best thai restaurants near you find a supercharger within walking distance of a coffee shop like stuff like that you could just basically use grok like how you normally use grok but for navigation and there's a a little demo video that uh, Tesla provided when they first uh, announced this last week uh, that demonstrates how this works and it's really, really cool. Hey Grok, I want to go on a tour of San Francisco. Can you take me to the Ferry Building, Pier 39 and Golden Gate Park? Heading to the Ferry Building first, then Pier 39 and Golden Gate Park. Should take about an hour total with traffic. Cool, thanks. You're welcome. Enjoy the SF tour. So let's do a quick demo here. See if this works. A share precise location, get more accurate. Okay, so it's asking for permission. So before, I didn't know this, but before you do it, you gotta press okay. And now it gives it uh, good permission. So Grok, um, take me to the nearest Home Depot. Sure. The nearest Home Depot is about 3.4 kilometers away. Want me to set navigation there? It looks like Navig you looks like you already did. Yeah, I went ahead and set it up for you. It's 4.1 kilometers away, about 10 minutes. Let me know if you want to cancel or change it. That is cool. That is really, really cool. So that's... Uh... <laughs> that is Grok Navigation. I, I'm excited about that. It's one of the things that I'm most excited for for this holiday update. But without any more delays, let's move right along. Uh, Tesla Photo Booth. Now, raise your hand if you ask for this. <laughs> this is typical Tesla. They'll throw things in. They're, they're very creative like that. You don't have to ask for it. They will do it. Now, this. some people would complain that, you know, it's, it's unneeded. And um, we shouldn't have got it because it just takes up, um, you know, uh, engineering and coding time that they could do for other stuff. Anyways, it's photo booth. Basically, it uses the camera up here. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's off camera there. But there's a camera up above your uh, rear view mirror. In case you didn't know, it's called a cabin camera. It, uh, if you got FSD, uh, it monitors uh, your eyes and making sure that you're paying attention to the road. So turn your car into a photo booth. Take selfies from inside your Tesla and give yourself a makeover with fun filters with fun filters, stickers, and emojis. So to do it, you gotta to go to the App Launcher Toolbox Photo Booth. So of course, it's gonna be in the Toolbox, uh, Toy Box, I mean. All right, here, strike a pose. Oh, a little Madonna thing. So there I am, I don't know if you can see me. So, uh, how? okay, we're gonna figure this out together, folks. Uh, to say, okay, so I can, oh, I could put, <laughs> I could put Optimus right next to me. Uh, I can do this. So there, these are different filters. So how do you take a, take a picture? Uh, oh, tap the screen to take a picture. So look. Tap to take a picture. Oh, you tap. No, not the screen. I'm an idiot. So you tap here. Oh, and it, and then it counts down. I, I didn't even see that part. I'm learning it just like you are. So as you can see, the, the quality isn't the greatest, but now you can, from here, you can put different, like, I can put a mask on my face, like a, a Jason mask, if I really wanted to. <laughs> uh, emojis, you could put funny, silly emojis. I'll put one on Optimus. And um, then you can just do different kind of edits. I guess you can write. I know you thought I was gonna do something there, but I wasn't. 
Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, see, it's an upside down snowman uh, for all you guys. Get out of the gutter. Or not upside down, on its side. And then you can save it. Where it saves to, I have no idea, but it's here if I want to pull it up again. Uh, of course, the cabin camera is not the best, but no, you know what? It's fun. It's fun. You can re-edit it after you saved it, and then you can come out of it. How do you come out of this thing? Yeah, that's how you come out of it. Okay. So that is a Tesla phone booth. Move right, moving right along. Dog mode in live activity in, on iOS. So once again, Tesla is famous for uh, putting things out on iOS first before they put it out on Android on the app. Uh, so I can't give you a live demo of this because, um, I mean, I guess I could. And, and if I if I get a chance to, I'll put it in here. There won't be any dog in the picture, but um, you can basically, you can keep your eye on your pet when in dog mode. When dog mode is active, you'll see a live activity on your iPhone with a live updates on the temperature, climate, and the climate conditions. Oh, this only works if you have premium connectivity. And I'll, for all these um, features to work, folks, or most of these features, what I should have said at the very beginning, you need the latest iOS or Tesla update, which is 4.51.5 or greater. This is a cool thing. Now, I don't know if it'll do it with any of my existing dash cams, but basically the dash cam viewer update, it's got a lot more features in it now. Now you, it can tell when you're in self-driving and it'll make a note of that. That's great for, and it'll tell you if you have your turn signal on and stuff like that. That's great for evidence. If you ever need evidence for driving evidence, for insurance, for collisions and stuff like that. So this is what basically it says. Dash cam clips now include additional details such as speed, steering, oh, steering wheel angle, that's pretty cool. Uh, and self-driving state. This information appears in the dash cam viewer during playback on both the vehicle display and the Tesla app. Of course, requires uh, connectivity and stuff like that. I'm wondering if you download it from your USB, if it's like hard-coded in, in that too. We'll have to figure that out. Then of course, there's Santa mode updates. Uh, we've always had Santa mode. Now it looks like Santa mode's in a cyber truck or a cyber sled, it looks of some sort. Um, toy box Santa mode, let's, let's just check it out real quick. Toy box, uh, Santa mode. Um, spread the chair outside. Oh no, I don't want to do that outside. Let's just do this. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's, now you've got a Christmas tree there. You've got the reindeers. You've got the song. Okay, I had to turn that off because I didn't want to get a strike. So that's Santa mode. Um, yeah, it's cool. And, and you know, it's one of the things you use once or twice a year around this time, time of year. The light show update, it's been updated. It's, I think it's got a new song in it. Um, uh, and now you can have more controls and you can set the timer for, for different. I, I'll be honest, check it out for yourself because I'm not very, very familiar. I'm the probably the last person to ask about the light show because I don't use it that often. Okay, I don't use it at all. <laughs> Paint shop, this is cool. So now you can, you can uh, customize, just like the Cybertruck, it's finally come to the Model Y and the Model 3. And I think S and X, X too. So now you can, you know, use the Tesla avatars with window tints and custom wraps and license plates and stuff like that. So toy box paint shop. Let's try that. Let's where's the paint shop right here. Customize. So right now I've got a blue car, but you know what? Um, create my own. Oh, so it, it takes you. Oh, look at that. It takes you to the site. Look at that. You can do anything you want here. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. I'm gonna check out the wrap. So here's a cool wrap. I can do that to my car. And as you can see how it does it, it does it from front to back. It just sort of, oh, that is so cool. Tesla, Tesla no other car has this kind of stuff. I'm gonna leave it like this to see if my wife notices when she drives, or even like this. <laughs> that is cool, that's like a, a comic book look. So that is the wrap. You can even do the tint. That's cool. So that's the, um, that's the paint shop. Okay, moving right along, navigation improvements now. You can reorder your navigation favorites, set home or work by dropping a pin anywhere on the map and view suggested destinations based on your recent trips and habits. So that's cool. So I'm not gonna show you my work or my home addresses and, and docs myself, but you can basically, if you go into, if you have it set and your uh, favorites and stuff like that, you can, you can go and you can move them around. Automatic HOV routing. Now this is a godsend for me I usually take the HOV lanes here in Southern Ontario. Uh, any green vehicle or any electric vehicle with green plates in Southern Ontario, any electric vehicle has green plates, can use the HOV lanes right, right now. I mean, I'm sure one of these days they're going to take it away as the uh, electric cars become more and more popular. But basically, navigation now includes the option to use HOV, which is high. If you don't know what HOV means, it's high occupancy vehicle. Uh, carpool lanes automatically based on the time, passenger count, and road restrictions. So you go to navigation HOV. So uh, 
section, uh, use HOV lanes. Look at that. I'll say yes. I won't even say auto. I'll say yes. What is auto? Okay, auto is a, when set to auto, the route automatically takes the HOV lanes if the time, location, number of passengers and road restrictions allow. Okay, see, I don't want auto. I want, I want to use it all the time. So I'll say no, I want to use it all the time. <laughs> So hopefully that works and uh, we'll, we'll check it out. That's, that's great. That's a great feature. Once again, didn't ask for it. Wanted it, but didn't ask for it. Another feature is phone left on the wireless charge. So if you've got your phone here and you have it here docked, as you can see there, and then you get out of the car and you leave it in there, which we've all done. I'm sure if you're watching this, we've all done it before. And the car doesn't lock because the phone's in proximity of the car, so it won't lock. You can't lock yourself out. But now it's going to make a chime. So you can turn this on by going to control locks, control locks, and then I guess scroll down. Uh, oh, phone left on wireless charge chime. And if you click on the little thing, it'll tell you. If a compatible device is left on the wireless charger, your vehicle will chime a few seconds after all the occupants exit and close the doors. That's cool. I don't. I won't turn that on myself right now, but that's a good feature. The only reason I won't turn it on is because I have um, a wireless uh, charging mount right here that charges my phone. So I don't, I mean, I have the phone here right now, but I hardly ever use this anymore. I use that this one now. So for me to turn it on, it, it won't do any uh, good. But for most people, that's a good thing to use. Moving right along, save charge limit by location. This is cool. So now you can save a charge limit for your current location while parked, and it will be applied automatically next time you charge there. And you can do that from the charger. That's pretty cool. So next time, so you're at a particular public charger, or I, I don't, I'm guessing it works with supercharging, but let's just assume it's just public chargers, like non-Tesla ones. It'll remember how much you want to charge if you it uses the GPS and it uses the computer in the car. And Tesla is so intelligent and so brilliant when it comes to this kind of stuff. Another cool new thing is the SpaceX docking simulator. So instead of telling you about it, let me just show it to you. And it's going to be in the uh, App Launcher Arcade. It's going to be me. We won't go through this too much, but it's basically a game of sorts. And uh, that's a cool little. And then you can begin. Well, they have put a lot into this game animation. I'm not going to attempt to do it here and show you guys because I'm sure it's very, very hard. And these are all the controls you can use. That's pretty cool. Okay, how do we get out of here now? Then moving right along, we got some minor updates. Now you can enable or disable wireless uh, phone charging pads in the control. So just like those, like I told you how we have the wireless, if you don't want them always on, you can disable it in the uh, controls that, in the charging right here you go to charging and now if you scroll down wireless phone charge so you can turn them on or off that's cool so if you don't want them on I mean someone like me yeah because I don't use it but my wife uses it and I'll keep it on but if you wanted to you can turn it off it just gives you more granular control which is never a bad thing also minor updates is your vehicle will now send a mobile alert if any cabin door is left open while dog mode is active that's cool Add Spotify tracks to your queue right from the search screen. I'm not a big Spotify user. I, I use Apple Music, but we do have a Spotify account, and I know the, the kids use it. So that's good when the kids are in the car. My daughter's driving. She can use it for that. So scroll through large Spotify playlists, albums, podcasts, audiobooks, and your library seamlessly without paging that. Okay, another thing is the lock sound. Oh, you know what? Let me stop for a second. Tron, that Tron update that came out a few months ago, I did a video for that. Um, it was cool, like I said in the, in, in the video, it was a cool little novelty thing that wore off really, really quickly. But one of the things I wanted most of all was the lock sound. And they must have listened to me because now the lock sound now includes light cycle from Tron mode. Go to the app launcher, toy box, boom box. Okay, so I, I am definitely going to turn that on right away. Toy box, boom box, boom box, boom box. Three, boom, box line. Oh. I, I got scared there for a second. I thought maybe I didn't have it. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Let me wind down the windows, see if you can hear it. There you go. That the, the, update, the update is fully worth it now for me with just that. Another undocumented feature in this update, now you can view the dash cam storage. You can now view the storage space on your dash cam USB drive. And now you can see the amount that you have uh, and total size and stuff like that. If you, so if you go to controls, safety, and you scroll down to dash cam, oh, see, so now you can see, now I'm almost full. So I can 
delete some clips if I wanted to, but as you can see, I'm, I'm orange, I'm almost full. But it'll automatically uh, delete and uh, loop and erase over the old ones, I believe. So that's pretty cool, that's a cool feature. Oh, and this feature, I don't know why they didn't document it. Now it's called Vehicle Locator. Now in the app, instead of the feature being just completely separate, it's now built right into the app itself and, and, and into the icon. So I'll show you, thanks to um, Sawyer Merritt, he put something on X and he showed a little video of how it works. And basically you can search for your car in a parking lot, like if you're in a public parking lot or stuff like that, and you forgot where you parked, now you can basically see where you've parked and you can navigate back to your car just from your app. That is amazing. They took this software from the RoboTaxi and I think it's uh, paying off great for everyone else. Oh, dash cam filters is another one. So Tesla's made additional improvements to the dash cam on top of what I mentioned there uh, to have, in, on top of what I, I mentioned earlier, Tesla now includes additional categories for dash cam. So if you go, if we go to the dash cam right here, it's in, oh, so let me see if I can see the filters. See, they've done a lot since then. Uh, yeah, okay, so now you can do just the ones that were they were aware of, the handle pulls, which they're all my wife, <laughs> the panic ones, I don't have any panic ones, the manually save, the ones that you actually press to manually save, even the honks, the ones that you honked at, emergency braking, do I have any emergency braking ones? Well, actually, I do, I'm surprised. I have emergency braking. No, those, once again, must be all my wife. But that's cool. Now you can filter by all these uh, subcategories at the top. And that's it, folks. That is the holiday update. Jam packed. I mean, some people will be disappointed because the rumors were we were maybe supposed to get Apple CarPlay and we didn't, and that's probably going to come later. But besides that, I mean, I got Apple CarPlay right here on a, a third party uh, device. But other than that, I think this is a jam packed holiday update. Well worth it. Uh, if you haven't got it yet, refresh as best you can in the software. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go down here to. Uh, software and you go all the way down to the bottom right here it'll tell you and you can do it once a day it'll tell you if your car is uh, up to date and what I would suggest you do if you haven't already choose advanced don't have it in standard have it in advanced and that's when you're gonna get it oh did I say today was the eighth sorry today is the ninth <laughs> anyways if you know any other updates or any other improvements that I might have missed in this uh, video put it down in the comments below and thanks for watching folks we'll catch you on the next one this video is way too long as it is take care bye bye